<laughs> no, hey, forget. Are you ready for this? <gasps> Abercrombie Kids presents Play On with Abercrombie's Kind Crew. Yay! What's up? I'm Charlie. <laughs> I'm Dana. <laughs> I'm JT. And I am Danny. Hello and welcome to Play On. Today we're looking back on a year of spreading kindness together because 2020 has been a very special... And strange. Yeah, and it's been a strange year. So today we're going to jump into our imaginary time machines to play 2020 Rewind. To test how well we remember our year as Abercrombie's Kind Crew. Let the games begin! Woo! Let's go! and welcome to 2020 Rewind. I'm your host, Charlie, and today we will be taking a spin on our Rewind Wheel. Woo! Each category will take you on a trip down memory lane. My turn. Yay! We're not on spaghetti dinner from our Serious Fun episode. Okay, so Serious Fun brings amazing camp experiences to kids who have illnesses, or disability. We got this story from our friend Jack, and he said his favorite part was when he dives in head first of a bowl of spaghetti and eats like a pig with no hands. No hands, spaghetti, no hands, spaghetti, no hands. That was, that was really funny. Um, I think we all know what's coming next, right? We each have one bowl of spaghetti and two hands that we will not be using when we eat it. So once the timer starts, we will see who can get the messiest. I'll leave that to you guys, because I do not mess with spaghetti. Unless you want to see me get sick. <laughs> no, I don't think mm. we want to see that. I don't think anyone okay, wants to good. see that. Is everybody else ready? Yeah! Let's put our hands behind our back. Dig in. Come on, guys. No hands spaghetti. No hands spaghetti. No hands spaghetti. I wish there was enough for everyone. No hands spaghetti. <laughs> I feel like a caveman. <laughs> oh my god. No oh my no god. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Face is up. Hey. Good job, guys. Dana, it's over. You can stop eating now. <laughs> I definitely think we know who the winner is. It's the one that looks like a big tomato. An experience I probably will never do again. I would never have thought it. What? Ha <laughs> One thing that I've learned being a part of Abercrombie's Kind Crew is just like staying kind because one, I've gotten so much closer with all of you guys and I really hope that we can inspire other kids. So spread that and spread that and it's like a domino effect. Just like Charlie said in the first episode. <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Yup, she did a research. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back. Spin that wheel. Quote that kid. In this game, you have to match something someone said with the person that said it. That's easy. Well, that's why we disguised our identities. Kindness brings people together and overall just makes people feel more loved. Scary. <laughs> now name that kid. JT. You are wrong. The correct answer was me from episode five. No! <laughs> I didn't even know that myself. Here's your second quote. Okay. The legacy that I want our generation to remember us by is that we didn't just fight for it, that we were the ones who actually made the change happen. I think it's JT again. You think it's JT? You are wrong. It was Danny from episode <laughs> three. I know. I know. And your final quote. You are perfect just the way you are. You don't have to try and be perfect. Circle ball. That's, That's me. Correct. It was you from episode one. She was like this too. She was like hand-shaped ball. Good job. Good job. 
we had some pretty big talks on this show. We talked about racism, mental health, and we even talked about the election. Having that conversation about racism really opened my eyes and hopefully opened a bunch of the viewers' eyes watching this. You're really learning a lot for the future. That's why it's such an important topic because it can happen at any moment. And that conversation was like really empowering and I hope that everyone watching did learn something and I learned so much from it too. You are perfect just the way you are. No matter what you look like, no matter what color you are, no matter what language you speak, you are amazing. All right, we are back. JT, you are up. Whoa. In one of your first episodes, you learned something called the Play It Forward Dance to help raise awareness for On Our Sleeves, a movement that's all about helping kids talk about mental health. So now, let's see which one of us has the best memory of those amazing dance moves. But before we do, let's watch a clip to help jog your memory. Hit it, DJ! Now it's your turn. Play that beat back. And the winner is... JT! Congrats, JT! Good job! Yay! Yeah, I surprisingly remembered it all. I don't know how I did that, honestly. Good job! Really, when you think about it, in every single episode we've had, we've expressed ourselves through art, through dance, through making music. I think that it's so, so very important to express yourself. We want to see how you are. We want to see your personality. We don't want to just see meh all day. We actually talked about this in the first episode. We got to decorate those shirts to make it our own. And I think that's really important to think about too because everyone's so different and that's okay. It's okay to be different. And now for the final round, last but not least. <laughs> Please welcome our president of kindness, Danny. Last episode, inspired by Charity Operation Warm, we wrapped gifts to donate to kids in need. Now this episode, we have all secretly wrapped a gift for one of our fellow Abercrombie Kind Crew members. And right in front of us is a gift from our Secret Santa. Can you guess your Secret Santa gift giver? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys. Are you ready for this? It's a monkey named George. I want a pet monkey named George. Charlie, what? Most creative rapping technique. I'm done! I have an ocarina! Oh! <laughs> and I want to be your president of kindness. Your dream became a reality. Dana, who do you think was your secret Santa? I think that Danny was my secret Santa. You think it was Danny? Your secret Santa was me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Danny, who do you think that your secret Santa was? I think JT. You are correct. <laughs> It was JT. Good job! <laughs> That's gonna be you in about 25 years. Next is JT. Who do you think that your secret Santa was? I kind of feel like it's Dana. You are correct. <gasps> yeah! It was yeah! Dana. Thank you, Dana. I appreciate You're welcome. it. You're welcome. I am gonna guess Danny. Yes! You were correct. <laughs> I don't know why that was hard because she was the only one Yeah, left. I was about I to say, forgot. I was going to say, Charlie, if you want to get right. <laughs> I, I forgot. 2020 has been a very weird and wonky year, but one thing that we haven't talked about yet is COVID-19. Yeah, we haven't seen each other in person since episode two, which has been 
nine months and it's been really hard. It's like, how do you try to build a relationship, you know, when you're not in the same room and you can't really, you know, connect with that person and see how they're feeling? Obviously, we're not in person, but I still think that we have gotten closer and it's been so nice seeing all of you guys, even through a computer screen. <laughs> it's still been really it awesome. It really has. Yeah, luckily we're still able to do it virtually and still able to spread awareness and do fun activities at the same time. Because we're all going to get through this together. Check it out, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Do you guys have like any advice for all the kids out there? Well, I'd say be kind. Oh, that's so cute! Sweet. Kindness can be a really little thing you do each day, but it can still make a huge difference for someone. Be grateful for everything you have, and you can always give back. Kids can change the world, so let's change it together. Bye! Bye! Bye.